Yes. So if I'm trying to ensure the harmony, um, we talk of, uh, you know, understanding and living in harmony at all the four levels. And when I'm trying to ensure the harmony at one level, uh, if it is disturbing the harmony at some other level, then how do I make this program for happiness? So, for example, if I have a small child and uh, I want to um, be in harmony there and then I also have a job which I have to do justice to, they are two conflicting things. Similarly, if I am trying to work for right understanding, um, I am um, not being able to do justice to the family and so the family members get upset and then there is disharmony there. So how to go about this? Yeah. In fact, <clears throat> you know, it is important to see that we are not saying how to manage things. What we are saying is that we have to understand the harmony and work to be in harmony. What is generally understood and tried, you know, is trying to manage things. So if you are trying to manage things without understanding the harmony, then we find that when you try to manage one thing, there is problem, you know, at the another level. Right. <clears throat> so these examples that you have quoted is essentially the example of trying to manage at one level, you know, giving rise to problem at another level. What we are talking about is basically trying to understand the harmony and live in harmony. And if you understand the harmony and live in harmony at one level, it will facilitate being in harmony or live in harmony at another level. At least it will not contradict. So let us take an example. Right? If I am able to understand the harmony at the level of individual, at the level of human being, and if I am living in harmony at the level of individual, at the level of human being, then you can see that I will have the right understanding, I will have the right feeling in me, right, in the self. And if I have the right feeling in the self, it will certainly help to ensure harmony at the level of family. Because with this right feeling, I will be able to behave better with the family members. I will be able to ensure this mutual fulfillment in the relationship. So my being, understanding the harmony and living in harmony at the individual level certainly facilitates my being in harmony at the level of family. Right. Similarly, I can see that with right understanding and right feeling, I can participate better in the society. Right. And if I am having the right understanding and I am working under the, you know, I am able to identify my needs of physical facility and I am producing more than what is required by way of mutual fulfillment, mutual enrichment, then I will also be able to ensure this harmony in nature. So that way, <coughs> I being, I, mean, I having this understanding of harmony at the individual level and living in harmony at the individual level, the level of human being, will facilitate my living in harmony at the level of family, society and nature. So this is what is being proposed. It is not said that you have to manage. If you try to manage, it will not work. And the first and foremost thing is to understand the harmony in the self harmony in the human being, you know, which includes harmony in the self, harmony in the body, you know, with the body. So all this is included when we try to understand the harmony in the self. And once we have the, uh, try to understand the harmony in human being, and once we understand the harmony in the self, I think other, you know, harmonies you know, can be understood better and it becomes easier for us to 
live in harmony at higher levels. But if we have not understood the harmony at the level of self, and we are trying to manage at higher level, it will not work. So first we have to ensure this right understanding in the self and right feeling in the self, which is ensuring the harmony in the self. Then I can understand this harmony at the higher levels better and live in harmony at the higher levels. <clears throat> it will not contradict. <coughs> so this family has been uh, seen as, you know, uh, unable to fulfill the relationships in the family. So it is better to either you know, leave it, do something else, or um, you know, live in a bigger commune where uh, you don't have that much of uh, uh, responsibilities, if you would. Yes. What uh, uh, is that a solution? See, there have been these two observations, you know, and two kind of experiments which have been tried out uh, in the history, if you see, history of mankind. One was that this family, or living in family, becomes a hurdle for the development of the society. Therefore, you have to get rid of the family or you have to go beyond this concept of family that we have, you know, particularly the family which is based on blood relationship. So some of the people like Plato, you know, when he talks about this in Republic, about this state, this Republic and the law, the two books, he describes that, you know, this family is the source of this, you know, private property and it is the one which is creating a lot of problems. You know. So, in that state, ideal state that he talks about, he would say that, you know, we should not have this family, at least for the people who, you know, want to work for the society and the state at large, you know. So, this is one notion. But there is another experiment which has been tried out, which thinks that, you know, this family is a barrier, you know, for the personal development also, the development of the individual also. You know. Therefore, get rid of the family. So, there is this notion that, you know, you have to dissociate with the family, you know, and take to, you know, your own search. So, this, there is enough examples of it in India. So these are two experiments which have been tried out. <clears throat> but what we are trying to say, and what has been the, you know, if you look at in India, for example, the, the main trend has not been either of the two. The main trend has been, you know, that the family is a very fundamental unit of human existence. And what we are saying here, is that if harmony in the family is understood properly and ensured, you know, and there we said this relationship and the feelings in the relationship is fundamental. So if that harmony in the family is understood properly and is ensured, then the family will provide, number one, the appropriate environment, including education and sanskar for the development of the individual. And it will also work as a basic building block for development of the society. Right. So it will go both ways. So if we have the family, we understand the harmony in the family, and we are able to ensure harmony in the family by way of right feelings in ourselves and you know, sharing this feeling with others in a mutually fulfilling manner then I will ensure or I will help in the process of development of the individual 
the children who are being you know born and brought up in this family so we'll take care of their food their you know nurturing they will take will take care of their education and sanskar so instead of being a barrier you know this family will facilitate the process of development of the individual and along with this this family which is in harmony within okay, through relationship and through right kind of production right it is able to contribute for the building of of a society which is a human society you know which is in harmony within so it is able to contribute to the harmonious you know society so in fact it is a building block for you know building up a society in harmony so for the societal development so both way it will work if we are able to understand the harmony in the family and you know ensure that harmony so it is not that we have to run away from this family we have to get rid of this family but we have to understand the family understand the harmony in family and we have to ensure this harmony in family then it will work both for the development of individual human being and it will also work for the development of the society and in fact all these people who have tried to uh, you know propose some kind of commune they are uh, if you look at the details of what they are proposing you know, they are essentially trying to talk about a harmonious family you know a harmonious family you know maybe of a bigger size than this blood relation you know family of this size of blood relation so they are talking about basically harmonious family or family in harmony right and they find that this smaller families are not contributing to that bigger harmonious family but they are have become a barrier so that has been their experience but ultimately they are looking for a family you know which is in harmony or a harmonious family you know and they think that this smaller size will not work so we should have a bigger size so that's the kind of concept of commune in fact if you go back and look at this concept on the basis of what we have said here you will find that this is what they are aspiring for they may not be very clear about it very articulated about it but this is what they are trying but this you have to see for yourself Uh, one one more thing that comes up is that balance you know if we go back to the previous question uh, balance between personal and professional life yes. or uh, sacrifice at one level particularly for the women that uh, you know they have to focus on the family they can't do the work uh, as much as they want to and things like that you know so there is uh, these kind of questions of balance at these uh, at least at the uh, personal family and professional life yes yeah this balance what is it is it managing things or is it understanding the harmony and working for the harmony this is what this is important this is what i responded yeah this is what i responded you see for example if i am in harmony within at the level of self if i am able to understand my harmony with the body right and i am able to live in accordance with the harmony of the self and harmony with the body then very soon i would realize that my need for physical facility is quite defined and i already have more than what is required so i need not go for work for earning money you know for getting more physical facility but this is not clear so we think that everybody has to go for work you know both the husband and wife have to go for work because they have to they need more physical facility and they have to earn more money and therefore they have to go and this they are willing to do for at the cost of the baby you know at the cost of you know of education sanskar of the baby now if 
this right understanding is there this harmony is there in the self and you know, with the body if i am able to understand and be with it i see that one of us work and this is good enough to fetch us money you know which can take care of the family right so this contradictions will not come or i decide that this much of time i can spare after taking care of the family you know taking care of the you know children their education and sanskar you know and the health of the family in you know, all that i still have some time which i can spare then i will take some part time job why take this full time job you know? and then also take this responsibility of like being in the management i mean i i know some of the um, ladies and i i would not say ladies or gents the important thing is that that clarity now these ladies they are now the head of the departments or the directors or things like that you know and they they have to manage you know three place things they have to manage themselves first then they have to manage the whole family and in addition they have to manage the college or the department but very difficult for them certainly certainly very difficult and they will feel really exploited so whether it is man or women you know he has to sort out sort out some priorities and decide and if you sort out you can decide you know either the husband or the wife one of them will go for job you know the other will take care of other responsibilities the family responsibility it could be man or it can be women or if possible they can take some part time job one of them can take full time job one can of them can take part time job and more important than than that we should also you know be open to think in terms of you know ensuring production at the level of family itself why go to the workplace somewhere outside can we make this family as a workplace right in that case i don't have to go out i have to be in the family i can be, you know very uh, responsible towards the relationship i can take care of the relationship and in fact we can work together so all these things have to be reviewed you know re look that but certainly even with the given arrangement if we have this right understanding in the self and right feeling in the self in the relationship right and i can see my relationship with the body my harmony with the body then i can define my physical needs and with that defined physical need it will be possible for me to decide my priorities how much time to give to the family how much time to give to myself how much time to give to the workplace <clears throat> and i take i can take care of this and sir maybe one more point here could be that since three generations are not living together in a family so these issues have become more prominent yes true to very important in fact the size of the family has been reduced right now we have developed a mentality where we don't want to keep our parents with us so the grandfather and the grandmother is missing this grandmother and grandfather you know one of the major responsibility of them was to rear the child you know, take care of the child take care of the education of the child right the sanskar of the child but now there are no grandparents right they are in the old age home where they have no children to take care of so they are in trouble right the children are also in trouble and because there is no way body to guide the children at home you are also in trouble so we are putting everybody in trouble but then problem is that we don't have this mentality of you know feeling of relationship so we don't want to keep the parents we can't tolerate them in fact the thing that we have to tolerate and we think that we cannot tolerate so let's not have them put them in the old age home or let them have their own you know kind of uh, arrangement so this aggregates yes true
yes and sir another thing here uh, is that since people have to migrate for job today so again that is adding to the problem if they have to stay in their own place and then be able to produce enough for the prosperity of the family then these kinds of issues might be less true true in fact uh, not only that we are not doing it we are condemning it we think that if you are at your own place and ensuring this production at the level of village or the level of family in or at the level of whatever town or city you are in then you are not developed right you are not developed so this is against development so in order to develop you have to move from village to city from city to bigger city from bigger city to america and this is considered to be the you know development so every time you are getting uprooted and when you are uprooted you know you have to search you know work for a very small thing which was already there right so many people i know have lots of land in their village big house right but they are there in this city you know punjab for example you know you have huge houses you know i mean two floors three floors 20 rooms right and if you go to the village in punjab you will find many of these houses are just empty you know they are put on lock because they don't want to give in rent because there is a risk so they are you know on lock and most of these people are in canada this is what is happening but this is not only in punjab you know whole of india you have the problem even bhutan now you have problem i remember i went to one of the village most of the houses were just empty because the youth had just left they are not interested and these old people they cannot manage themselves so they also in, in some way or the other move to the city and all these big houses with their stairs you know um, agricultural life it just you know falling vacant i was told that many villages in bhutan are simply you know uh, left nobody is there to take care so not only the family but the whole village so this migrating the moment you migrate now you have no base so you have to you know arrange for every small thing which is a difficult task and interestingly the many you know uh, kind of uh, preconditionings which are generated are very interesting i remember one of my student uh, he was there in uh, hyderabad and he was you know telling me as i was discussing with him and he was telling me that he has to build a house so i said why uh, do you have to build a house in hyderabad you have a big house there you know in up and uh, you are the only son then he said no 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 you can't you know stay in your parents house you know you have to make your own house i said why he said no you will not understand now this is the situation of course i can't understand this that if you have a house and you are the only son right and it's a sufficiently big house in a very good place city is also very reasonable city city of alabar now <laughs> you want to make it because this is what is in the preconditioning now fashion that if you are living in your parents house then you are not developed and now in hyderabad if you have to have, you know get a house 
it costs something like 70 lakhs to 1 crore even this 2 3 rooms 2 bhk or 3 bhk so you are done for your lifetime yes Sir Namaskar. Sir Namaskar. Namaste. Namaste. Sir, I feel uh, education is uh, one of the uh, region behind it. Yes. Because, uh, as we see the education today, everyone is uh, uh, taking education that they will get the better job outside, uh, away from their what they are doing, whether agriculture or agriculture related work or even in a small industry, people having a small industry. Uh, Sometimes I talk that the person who is making ornaments, he is also thinking that his son will have some government services outside, so he will get rid of all, all of this. So uh, education is directing everyone that what we are doing today, that is useless, that is meaningless. Uh, you will get some job somewhere else, bigger job if you have a education like this. So yeah. everyone is uh, uh, coming out from the villages, even the one city to another city, and uh, we, we are seeing in our our age also. Every even if, if I see my village, people were living relatively in good condition. Now all they are laborers. Earlier they had the agriculture. Now no one is doing agriculture. No yeah. one want to do it, and uh, no one want to have related work like animals on this. They say this is all all useless. Yes, and uh, not only useless, they will call this a uh, really a. Uh, a cost to them, this they are, uh, had this farming, they have uh, uh, take the birth in a place where in, in the house of a farmer. Or even yes. a farmer are thinking having a big land in uh, bigas in the thousand biga, they are also thinking that our my child are they are uh, unemployed, even often education because they don't have any job outside, good service outside. Yes, so whole whole system is disturbed now. Yes. This is this is what we call the modern system of living. Yes. So you were given the example of the uh, parental house. Now child, child, children don't want to live in parental house. Yes. One day I was talking to my daughter. Uh, uh, he, uh, she has a uh, house, Mrs. Parent, uh, his uh, uh, husband's house in a city like Kota. Then they have a house in their own village, very good house. Now she was uh, talking, I'll have to house in Bombay. She was working in Bombay. So I have to say something. So I told, why you need a house in Bombay? You have two houses, one in Kota, one in your village. Very good, I said. And your husband is the only son. Yes. But they, they were not appreciating what I am talking. Yes. Once, and those who have house in Bombay, they will. They are looking for a house in New York. And those who have one in New York, they are looking for a house in Moon. So whole whole education has given a right wrong direction. Yes. When she, uh, a few years back when I was all connected this this human value, when she got a job after doing a B Tech and then <coughs> MBA from Javier, a uh, very good job in uh, uh, ITC company. She uh, told me I got the job very excited, very happy. We were talking a few minutes. Then she told me, you had asked me for the package. I generally don't ask for the package. I told her, okay, okay, tell me how much package you got. So she told me 10, 10 lakh rupees. I thought it's injustice. She, she told me, why injustice? In the beginning, I got 10 lakh package. And I told her, they should, be, they should have employed two people rather than you, five lakh each. Mm -hmm. so, so two family would have the job. Now you are getting 10 lakh rupees. Your husband shall also be getting similar amount. So it's injustice. So she was uh, talking in a different manner. Okay, you don't understand like this. Yes. <laughs> so this is this is how we are uh, giving education, uh, and whole society is behaving like that. Yes, that's true. Yes. So we have to understand all this. In fact, we have to understand this history of this education system that we have today you know it developed sometime in europe you know when there was this industrialization you know, industrialization in the city and they wanted to get people from village you know so they had to dismantle this village 
they wanted both the people and the resource of the village for the industry so they wanted to dismantle and they did it very you know kind of successfully but unfortunately we are multiplying it without really understanding you know what is happening but i will not get into those history presently yes you have to work on it yes yeah so um today there is a lot of disharmony in the society and i am also a part of this society so how can i ensure my happiness in this kind of a situation see uh, it is true that if there is harmony in the society if there is a you know harmonious society it will be much easier for you know each one of us to be in harmony because this society will provide an appropriate environment and which will in- include the right kind of education and skill for my development so what charanji was mentioning just now that if the society is in harmony if the education system is in order then it is easier for every child to develop you know so that self development will take place you know i can be in a state of harmony within and happiness within and work for the harmony at all levels but what we are having today is a kind of education system which is you know doing it otherwise so with that life becomes more difficult you know for the common people for individuals it becomes much more difficult now to you know work for understanding the harmony in the self and living in harmony in the self so it is far more difficult i would agree with that but what we are saying that if the society is not in harmony and it not providing the appropriate environment for our development even then it is possible for us to work for it and that is what we are proposing all through we are saying it is possible for me to work for the self development through this process of self exploration and if i ensure this then i can be in a state of harmony within and happiness within in continuity so all that we have been talking about in last few lectures and this is what we will try to explore further that through the process of self exploration i can understand the harmony within myself as an human being i can understand the harmony at the level of family and society and so on and when i understand the harmony i can live in harmony despite right the lack of this favorable environment from the family from the society so this is possible that i can understand this harmony through self exploration and if i ensure this understanding in me then i can be in a state of harmony within and happiness within in continuity so this is possible for me to be in you know state of happiness in continuity by way of understanding the harmony and being in harmony at the level of my own self and when i am in harmony at the level of myself and i understand the harmony at all levels right i can become a help in the process of development of harmony in the family in the society so despite the fact that this harmony is not there in the society i can still work for it through self exploration i can understand the harmony within in the self i can be in harmony in the self and by that i can be in a state of harmony and happiness within and when i am in a state of harmony and happiness within i can work for the harmony at higher levels at the level of family at the level of society at the level of nature so i can contribute positively not only that it is possible for me to be in harmony and happiness within it is you know possible for me to participate in ensuring harmony at the level of family and at the level of society yes um where do we draw the line between family and society for example you know family can be just like uh, as parents and children or in-laws also or extended family members very close relatives sometimes even our pets 
we have some pets that we treat as family so uh, what is the when we talk about this harmony in family and harmony in society then we will probably be able to answer it better you know but i can uh, just uh, kind of place what is the what will be the outcome of that discussion so when we look at the family the basis of family is relationship so this is the basis you know this is the foundation this relationship is the foundation for the family so what you will call as family will depend upon how broadly you can see your relationship with other members of that unit so if i can see that feeling i can have this feeling of relationship with the members of the family which is defined on the basis of blood relation then that is the size of the family for you but if you can identify that feeling of relationship with every member of your organization of your workplace then that organization that workplace is the family for you on the other hand if you are not able to have this feeling of relationship even with the members of your blood relation then even that is not a family it's more of a crowd it's more of a crowd mm. so what kumar ji was just mentioning that one of the problem we are facing in the family today you know is that we don't have three generations we don't have these grandfathers and mothers you know who are supposed to who would have been taking care of the children right why this has happened because we are not able to see that relationship even with the grandfather and the grandmother right? right our parents we are not able to see that relationship you know and therefore they are not there as the family though they are related to us in terms of blood you know, they are part of our blood relationship but even that side of family we are not able to define and be with in fact uh, <clears throat> if you look at the kind of education that we are giving right more educated the child is you know the husband or wife is more intolerant they are towards their feeling towards their you know relationship with the uh, ex with the past generation so if you look at the situation now you know the the uh, the girls particularly you know after marriage they are not very willing to keep this you know their in laws at home as part of the family so this is how we are given education in fact i keep quoting this example that we survey we did in triple it hyderabad same time first year students we made this survey what is your goal after you pass out first year almost 50% said that they want to make their parents happy 50% means out of 180 almost 90 100 people in the final we asked the same question only four people said that we want to make our parents happy so this is what we are doing in four years of education so now the parents are out of the family so what i would say is that it depends upon the size of the family will depend upon how you can how much you are able to extend your feeling of relationship so two things are required my feeling is required and my competence is required so first i have to have the feeling and then i have to have the competence for the fulfillment of relationship you know with the size family that i am thinking of so depending upon the size 
for the number of people i can have this feeling and have the competence for fulfillment i will define my fam family so what you're saying is that uh, in an ideal situation even the society could be like a family even my workplace my organization could be like a family yes that's what i was saying that when we talk about the family and society we will see that we want to extend our family you know starting from this blood relation right up to the world family so i should have that feeling of love you know i should have that you know feeling of relationship with everybody you know every human being then this whole world will become a family for me in fact that is the meaning of compassion so love and compassion means i feel related to everyone and therefore i think of this whole world as a family yes this is what we have been appreciating in people who have been able to realize this so most of the people we really pay you know homage to okay is people who have been able to identify you know this feeling in themselves for wider and wider you know number of people right and they had that feeling of you know kind of relationship for them and that compassion to fulfill that feeling of relationship so that is why we are calling them as great people and this is something which is there within each one of us we have a natural acceptance for this that we want to be in relationship with one with many with everyone hmm. when it comes to nature and existence uh, why have we put them together as the fourth level aren't they two separate things we can put them at two separate things also <laughs> but uh, what we thought was that when it comes to fulfillment right we have to do something for the fulfillment with the nature when it comes to existence we don't have to do anything for the fulfillment of our relationship with the existence because the existence is already in coexistence and this coexistence is ever present so what i have to do with the existence is only understand it understand it and be with it we don't have to do anything but when it comes to nature the units right yes we have to do something like when i understand this harmony my harmony with the plants with the soil with the tree you know with the water then i have to do something right but when i understand this my harmony with the space right when i realize that i am in space i am in coexistence in space then i don't have to do anything for it i just have to realize it and just be with it so there is nothing to be done for the fulfillment for the relationship with space okay. it is just there and it is ever present you know that is the basic building block for all things that we see in nature as units so there is nothing really to fulfill fulfillment has to do with the units in nature so we thought that we can put these two together but you can put them separately also but there are so many things in nature and existence so how do i how can i be in harmony with all of these things see what we are saying is that what is important is to understand that this existence is by way of coexistence which is by way of the units submerged in space which is by way of every unit being in space being energized in space being self organized in space you know being related to another unit you know all other units in space now if i can see this you know this coexistence you know and if i can see that all that we see in nature is an expression of this coexistence so the relationship the harmony that we see in the units okay, or among the units is by virtue of this coexistence which is ever present 
then I can have this feeling of coexistence, feeling of harmony, feeling of relationship. And that is important. So what is important is by understanding and my feeling. So if I can understand this coexistence and on the basis of that I can understand the harmony and relationship, then I will have this feeling of coexistence, harmony and relationship. And that is fundamental. So what really matters to me, you know, is this feeling. If I have this feeling of coexistence, harmony and relationship, and this is naturally acceptable to me, then with this feeling, I am always in a state of harmony within, in a state of happiness within. So just by understanding this, that the coexistence is there and it is ever present, and with this coexistence, there is harmony in every unit and there is a relationship between units and all the units in existence. Then I, my feeling is decided. You know. Now I have this feeling of coexistence, harmony and relationship. And with that feeling, I am always in a state of harmony within and happiness within. Now when it comes to fulfillment, right, then whenever I am you know, fulfilled by relationship with any unit, I will get the necessary information about it. I don't have to, you know, have this information all ready all the time for all the units in existence in nature. No, what is important for me is my feeling for them. So if I have this feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence, I am comfortable within, I am in a state of happiness within. And when I have to relate to it, I have to fulfill my relationship, I will work out the detail. So if I have to nurture some tree, right, I will learn about it, you know, how to nurture that particular tree, what kind of environment is required, what kind of soil is required, what kind of water is required, how much sun is required and so on. Those details I will work out. But if I am not doing agriculture, I mean, I don't have to really have all the details. For example, if I am producing clothes, then I will learn about the cotton, about how it is grown, about you know how it is processed into uh, threads and how it is, this thread is woven to make a cloth and how this cloth is cut and stitched to make a dress. Now all those details I will work out, but I don't have to have those details right you know, now for all the units in existence. But I have to have this feeling of relationship for every unit in existence. I have to have this feeling of harmony, not of disharmony or contradiction, not of feeling of opposition. So what we are saying is that this entire existence I can understand in the form of coexistence. So we can see that this coexistence is there, this harmony is there at the level of nature and existence. And once we understand this, then we'll have this feeling of harmony right, for every unit in nature, feeling of relationship for every unit in nature. And this is what matters. This is what my happiness is based on. But when it comes to fulfillment, I'll work out the details. I don't need all the details right now. They are not necessary. Unfortunately, what is happening today in our education, we are giving a lot of details to the students and we expect them to remember. Okay. But we are not ensuring this feeling, feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence. So all this information therefore becomes the burden for him. So they have to remember it without seeing the inner purpose of it. So it has become more of a load for them, burden for them, than knowledge. Yeah, so what you are saying is that uh, the state of society today, the state of the villages, the state of the city, uh, the state of the family, and all these, what we are seeing all around, is a, a result of uh, whatever we have assumed or understood and all this can be uh, you know 
cleared up if only we have the right understanding of yes. this harmony coexistence and all that is that yes. what you are saying okay. starting from the individual we have created lot of misconception about our own self about our own body about the coexistence between the self and the body yeah from there the confusion begins then we have confusion about the harmony in the family then society then nature then existence and we have all kind of the conditionings all kind of assumptions which are not based on understanding of the harmony and one simple preconditioning or assumption without you know understanding the harmony can create lot of problem and now we have lot of misconceptions lot of misconceptions so each of these misconception is contributing negatively creating problem for ourselves for others and for the whole society and the whole nature that is why every time we are saying we have to understand have the right understanding right understanding means understanding the harmony at each of these levels once we understand the harmony at each of these levels life becomes much simpler it is much easier to work with this harmony than you know work with this contradiction that we have assumed yeah. yes my question is related to those who work in the society by remaining themselves aloof from the society say for example the sant guru sanyasi they might not be so well connected to the society their society might have a different definition they look for their own inner happiness they get their happiness by way of on their own working possibly for other members in the society they are the role model but in fact if we look to their behavior they are away from the society they might not be having their own family with them and in that situation how can we consider those sant guru sanyasi as the one who are considered to have taken up initiative in spreading harmony in the society do you put any comment on this please yeah i i do that uh raju ji do you have any uh, question left from your side no that's it from our side okay so i'll take to this questions then mm, yeah. see uh, in many uh, traditions and particularly in india two types of experiments have been tried out one is that of a rishi and the other is that of a sanyasi Right. So these are two different traditions which have been tried out in India, particularly. So you see the remnants of both of these. The Rishi tradition says that I am, you know, living as a family, as a responsible family in the society. But I understand the basic law of. of nature of existence and i live with those laws and those you know, rules of existence in fact the word rishi essentially means this i had mentioned once rit means this basic laws the basic harmony in nature in existence right. so the one who understand this rit is called rishi so i understand this basic law this basic rules of existence this basic harmony in existence and i am trying to live by it right so this is called this rishi you know rishi parampara so they will be a part of the society but they are the one who are committed to understanding this harmony and living in harmony understanding this basic law rit of nature and being with the rhythm of nature 
In fact, this word Ritu comes from there, you know. Ritu means the well, what is going on along with this Rit. So there is a basic law of nature under which the seasons are there, you know. We have summer and we have winter and we have autumn and so on. So this was called Ritu. So this Rishi Parampara is, you know, trying to understand this harmony, this Rit, and trying to live according to that harmony. And they are integral part of the society. They are contributing to the society. Society is taking inspiration from them. Society is also supporting these people, you know, because they are doing an experiment which is quite, you know, uh, useful for the society. So this is something which has been uh, uh, kind of uh, tried out, and this has been one of the main tradition in India. The second tradition of sannyasi is, you know, there have been two regions, and one very positive reason has been that when you are there in the family, and you have participated in the responsibility of the family, and through family you have participated in the responsibility of the society, society at large, you know, whatever that large society, maybe, you know, you are connected to. Then at one point of time, you know, you feel that you have to work for the well-being of all. Right. Or the family also says, okay, nice, you know, you have done whatever you have to do for the family and for the society around. Now you have a bigger cause and you can take to the bigger cause. Right. So this choice that you will not identify yourself to a particular family, but but you know, identify yourself to the whole world and the whole existence is what is called sannyas. Sannyas, the literal meaning is that sampunta ke earth mein nyas, nyas ka mala pratishtha. So I am founded on this completeness, this holistic, you know, uh, kind of uh, way of looking at existence and be with the existence. So that was one uh, kind of uh, reason why this sannyas was being, you know, kind of uh, uh, taken to. So the literal meaning of sannyas is to be founded in the completeness, okay, in the whole, and therefore work for the well-being of all. So this was one positive reason. There also has been a negative reason. And the negative reason has been that when such people who had this feeling of being related to more number of people than what they see around in the family or in the society, they felt a kind of constraint that this family is putting a constraint or this limited society is feeling, you know, is putting a constraint on them. So they thought that we will like to explore you know, this completeness, you know, this entirety of existence and be related to it rather than be related to this smaller unit which is putting restriction on me. So they left the family or their immediate society and they walked out of it to explore, to investigate and to, you know, identify with the larger society or ultimately identify with the whole nature of the existence. So this is, has been the kind of experiments you know, which have been conducted. Now we can conclude out of this experiments you know, which have been concluded. And we can see that the first one, that this Rishi Parampara is something which will make sense for us as a society, as a society which is extending from family to world family. And even this sannyas with a positive you know, region uh, will be of use. And in fact, see, these are the people who are the real, you know, you know, who can be the leader for the society. So these people who are able to identify 
with the larger number of people, with the larger society, with the larger units, right, and are willing to work for it, they are the people who are really going to be the leaders of the society. Right? So they will also find place in the you know society in harmony or harmonious society. But this third one, if we have a harmonious society, we will not need this third kind of people who are fed up, you know, because this society, this family, this society is not providing them the face, you know, conducive environment for expansion. So these people who um, take to this sannyas because they don't find favorable condition in the family, in the society, we will not have these people because then the society will be harmonious and it will, you know, very naturally promote people to expand out, right, from family to larger group of family, to the village, to the city, you know, to the state, to the nation and ultimately the whole world. <coughs> In fact, today we have lack of such people who can expand. Therefore, there are so many, you know, struggle and war. So there are, you know, we don't have people who are equally acceptable to two nations. If we had such people, if we had people who had this feeling, of two nations, you know, equal feeling of love, then he could have been one person who can, you know, kind of uh, uh, work for peace between two nations. But we don't have such people now. So we are trying to settle the dispute by buying more and more weapons. This does not work. So we certainly need these people. But In fact, what I have seen is this. You must have also seen these examples. Let me you let know? me complete them. Okay. Let me complete Sorry. Sorry. Please, So please. I would say that we would need this is Okay, who are the integral part of the society in which we are working and who are doing this experiment of being in harmony at the level of themselves, the family, the society and so on. And they are contributing therefore. We would also need sannyasis who are, you know, um, having this feeling you know, for wider society and would like to work for it. You know, they will contribute positively. This is what I have to say. Yes, now you are welcome. What I was saying is like this. We have witnessed, all of us, we have witnessed it, that in our family also, those who are older people, a retired person also, they also come to a particular stage after the retirement, saying that I love be a part in your family, instructing you, advising you, suggest you something. Now you do something on your own. If you feel my experiences are good enough, I'll be there. Otherwise, I'll be most of the time out of your family and I'll be looking for my own inner satisfaction. Now, in fact, that kind of a, a aloofness uh, for not to be in the family also creates a problem in spreading the harmony is what I feel from my opinion. Now, the elder people Older people with their experience should come forward to guide the younger. However, younger must respect them. At the same time, older must also understand that younger would have a different kind of apprehensions and a trait of behavior, and they must adjust with them. But it never happens. And because of the kind of this gap, older and younger, they find a great value for their working between them. So creating the harmony in the society Whereupon we say first the creating harmony in the family, there we only find some difficulty because of this gap. So taking it forward to the bigger and bigger and then to the nature would then become possibly a, a, a different curve and maybe a difficult for they to understand. They being experienced, they are not put in the channel for experimenting them it further. So what is, what would be your comment on this part, especially on the older not taking part in creating or spreading the harmony. Yeah, I agree, you know, with what you are saying, 
but i would say that you have to go one step lower down you know both this older and the younger have to work for understanding the harmony in the self we are not able to understand the harmony in the human being in our self therefore we are in trouble we cannot understand the harmony in the family and be in harmony in the family unless we understand the harmony in the self so the crisis is that we don't understand ourselves as a human being properly we don't understand the self the body you know the coexistence between the self and body and we don't understand the harmony in the self that is the crisis so both the older ones and the younger ones both of them are in problem so it is not that older are responsible and younger are not so what challenge was mentioning you know this education today is not helping us to understand the harmony in the human being harmony in the self harmony with the body and unless we understand this harmony in the self where we have the right understanding of harmony at all levels and we have the feeling of harmony in the relationship there is no way out right. and that is why we are saying right from the beginning that we as human being have to understand this harmony at all levels starting from the harmony at the level of individual at the level of human being and there also we will see that we have to start with understanding the harmony in the self today we have no idea of the self no idea of the consciousness no idea of the harmony in consciousness no idea about the harmony among the consciousness units you know one self and the other self therefore we do not understand the relationship between one self and the other self therefore we do not have this feeling of relationship and if we don't have this feeling of relationship between the self i mean i am helpless the older one is helpless the younger one is helpless right they all want to be in relationship but they do not know what is relationship what is the feeling in relationship they don't have that feeling in themselves so they do they do want to have, be in relationship but they end up fighting so this we have to understand this we have to understand you know and we will do that when we uh, you know start work talking about harmony in human being we will see all this and then we we talk about harmony in family we will be able to relate how this understanding of harmony in the self will lead to you know being in harmony at the level of family yes thank you very good explanation i got really well convinced with this uh, completing yeah. this circle where from i started i just said that sant rushi muni they are for different category now i put another view on that later on saying that the older people retired people possibly they might not take part in creating harmony in their own family but they are responsible creating harmony in the society or in the nature i have seen many such retired people they are now away from their own family but they are working for the society let's say for the plantation of the trees or many other similar and they find that we feel ourselves very happy doing what we do but in the family they are unwanted in their own family they are unwanted but for other families or in the society they are wanted i think we need to consider them in a different category not that we'll consider all of them in one of the categories so as you rightly mentioned sant are those who could be considered but in a different category like by the retired people must be considered in different category Our ultimate aim is that they need to provide a kind of spreading the harmony in the society if not in the family we are looking for the family uh, in the society as a bigger family so if they are doing their good work in that way i think they must also be well respected too that is what i would like to submit to you is it correct sir yeah i would say that you know i mean it's not that they have they are out of the family they are in the family okay and if they have this feeling they will not be unwanted in the family also they will be very much wanted in the family if they have this understanding about the feelings in relationship so i can be in the family i can be well wanted in the family 
and at because my vision has broadened i will work for the larger family for the larger society so that would be better why put them out of the family <laughs>